Presenting Titanium Elastic Nailing Technique for Tibia Fracture by Dr. Chintendoshi. Here is x-ray of 10 years old boy with tibia fibula unstable fracture at same level. Patient is positioned supine on radiolucent table. C arm is shown from the contralateral side. Instruments required are Appropriate size tens nails Curved and straight all Two T handles Plier and hammer Harrington rod cutter F tool General orthopedic instruments Entry point markings are done as shown. 2 to 3 centimeters away from physis and approximately 2 centimeters on either side of the tibial tuberosity. All preparations are done prior to incision. Intramedullary diameter is measured on table with skin markings. Also it can be measured on preoperative true size x-ray. Here intramedullary diameter is 8 mm. Each nail size is chosen as 40% of intramedullary diameter, so that two nails of same size occupies 80% of canal at fracture site which is also the isthmus in this case. Nail length is marked by keeping it over the limb. Required length from entry point to distal metaphysis is identified and level of fracture site is marked on nail as shown here to plan maximum bending area on nail. Bending of nail is achieved as shown here. Bending is uniformly done by holding the tip in the plier and T-handle is kept at side of entry point on nail. The maximum height of curve should be at level of fracture site and maximum height should be three times the intramedullary diameter. Both the nails should be of same size and should be symmetrically bent. Both nails should be of same diameter, same length, and symmetrically bent. Each nail has uniform curvature as shown with three areas of important curves. First, tip is bent in a direction to maneuver into the distal fragment. Second, bent just adjacent to tip is to allow nail to bounce of opposite cortex while entering. Third is the maximum curvature in shaft for forming spindle at fracture site. Entry point markings are done as shown. 2 to 3 cm away from physis and approximately 2 cm on either side of the tibial tuberosity. Skin incision is taken and soft tissue dissection is done to reach the bone. Soft tissue dissection is done and bone marking entry point is reached. All is used to make entry into the cortex. All is entered with twisting movements to enter the medullary canal. Once the medullary canal is entered, then all is tilted to 45 degrees to make a good path for Tin's nail to enter. Previously prepared titanium elastic nail is entered into entry point. Initially nail is entered with tip facing away from cortex and once inside the canal, the tip is then turned around to enter the medullary cavity. Once entered into the cavity, the tens nail is then advanced. Here it is important that nail is turned around so the tip does not perforate opposite cortex. The curve adjacent to the tip allows nail to bounce of the opposite cortex. Introduce one nail into the distal fragment first for reduction. The tip of the nail is advanced into the distal fragment and then can be turned around to achieve reduction as shown here. Second nail is then entered into the reduced fragment. While inserting second nail it is important to avoid snaking effect. This is prevented by not allowing second nail to completely rotate over first nail. Both the nails are then entered to distal metaphysis level. 
Once entered to appropriate length the spindle is formed at the fracture site to keep it reduced and stable till healing. Nails are then bent and cut. It is important to cut the nail flush to the cortex so as to prevent irritation from the nail in post-operative period. The protruding end of the nail under the skin is then gently hammered to remain flush to the cortex of metaphysis. Post-operative x-ray shows well-reduced fracture with titanium elastic nail.